Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another quick video today. We are breaking down the Cape Cod colonial roofing style. The Cape Cod is another iconic American home and it is one of 11 colonial styles found across the states. If you want to learn more about each of those 11 styles, you can either check out my Pinterest board or hit subscribe as I will be going into probably all of them in greater detail in October. I chose the Cape Cod specifically out of all the colonials because for the most part, most of them rely heavily on a either mansard style or just generic dormers, but the Cape Cod is sort of a gambrel with dormers in a way, so I wanted to go over that in a little bit more detail. The second story already has dormers pulled out and they are two tiles away from the first story. This is because if you missed my gambrel video, you can check it out here, um, but we want to have a slightly steeper pitch on the side and then a lower pitch on top. So we're going to start with our half gable. We want our half gable to line up as exactly as possible with this wall. If you're using short walls, you should be able to hit that just fine, otherwise you can use alt to make sure your placement is exact and we'll double check that when we place our gable. I'm going to place it on the back then add my gable on top. Since we don't actually want our roof to line up in pitch like this, we are going to get rid of these eaves and then drop this down until it's the height we want. Round about there. Some cape cods will even have a bit of a curve to the roof and if you want to do that, hit shift C and then pull up slightly here and here and you could even curve this one a bit as well. If you're going to curve your roof all the way down, I recommend starting with just one of the half gables and then copying and placing it on the other side to save yourself the headache of trying to copy the curves in two places. For the dormers, I'm just going to copy this gable and bring the eaves back. I am also going to use this to cover the front entry by simply placing the roof and lining it up with these columns. I'd like to keep those windows, so I'm going to pitch this down. The roof trim and texture that you're going to use is going to depend greatly on if you're copying any specific era or style, where in the United States you're copying it from, and so on, but in general, any roof trim and shingle is going to serve you just fine. Before we go, I want to cover one last thing. Some Colonials, Cape Cod or otherwise, have roof in front of the dormers and some don't. If you want more roof showing, you can push the dormer back a bit. If you want less roof showing, you can pull in this eave. But if you want the eaves overhanging the front of the build but not in front of the dormers, this is what you'll do. You'll bring your dormer down to the one tile on the side and bring in this eave. Then copy and place it holding shift. Correct any remaining eaves. And there you go. And those are the basics of roofing a Cape Cod Colonial. You can check out the top card over here for more roofing tutorials or the bottom one for roof styles broken down. I only have two more roof style videos coming this month. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. I really appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye!